Welcome back to Media Champions. I'm your host, Mary Therese Griffin in Atlanta. Today, Buck Robinson, the media manager. Yeah, that the media manager is on the program. Buck, welcome to Media Champions. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate what you do. You've been doing this a long time and knowledge is power on this show. So we want to open up the floodgates of knowledge for the viewers who are tuning in to see what you have to say. What is your best advice for somebody who has a story to tell and they're in business, but they're not quite sure where to start? Yeah, I think the main thing that a lot of people make the mistake of doing is that they try to figure out where they want to tell the story first instead of what story they want to tell. And I think that's kind of the, the tail wagging the dog, if you will. And I think that the better idea is to be able to say, okay, where is the best place for me to be able to have this story resonate? Where are the listeners that I'm trying to reach or the viewers that I'm trying to reach versus what's hot right now? So you'll have a lot of people that'll say, well, I think I need to do podcasts or I think I need to do this or I need to do that because that's where everybody else is right now. And that may not end up actually being the best place for them to have that message resonate because it's just not the right fishing hole if you think that in that capacity. Well, let's talk about going fishing, shall we, since you brought it up. <laughs> numbers don't lie. I know you're a numbers guy. Walk me through talking to that potential client on where they need to put their brand and their story because not every platform is for everyone and the numbers don't lie. A subject matter expert like yourself can guide them to those numbers. Yeah, and I think that's a very that's a very good fact. Is that it, it, when you do look at the numbers, the reality is in some cases that it, it's doomed uh, to fail before it even starts. Just in terms of the costs associated with delivering those impressions and what it's going to be able to where they're going to see value. So, like I say, that kind of comes from the same perspective of well, we need to do this. Well, if the numbers don't make sense to do that, then really that's not the place where you should start. Um, that used to be back in the day, a lot of people would say, I need to be on TV. Well, maybe, maybe not. The cost of production is very high. It's a very fractured audience now. It may or may not be the, the best place to send those dollars, especially if you're somebody who every dollar that you're spending is a very precious one. You know, you really need to see it to deliver a good return on investment for you. That's where it really helps to work with a media company that understands like, okay, where are you going to be able to crawl, then walk? Then run in terms of getting that message uh, delivered at value, understanding what message is really resonating, having some kind of metrics that allow you to be able to see what it is producing in terms of the quality and quantity of response, and then being able to build your campaign from there. Beautiful analogy, Buck. I couldn't have said it better myself. And when we talk about measuring those metrics, uh, particularly with, with social media, how do you measure social media marketing success? Because I think some companies, if they, especially if they're smaller, they think, okay, I'm going to have this on social media and I'm just going to look at the, you know, Facebook analytics or the Google analytics. It's so much more than that. Take it away. Oh, it, it really is. And, and, and I think there's also this idea. And unfortunately we have to kind of talk a little sense to folks on this stuff is that they look at the number of potential impressions that are going to be delivered and they and they kind of work their way backwards from that and say, well, geez, if we only get 1% of those, we're going to be, you know, the floodgates are going to all of a sudden come busting open. And, all. and, and that's just not the way that it typically works. But it's a nice, it'd be nice if it did. I really, trust me, I really wish it would. It, the reality is that you need to be able to say, okay, where are we going to be able to really find the type of customer that I'm looking for what is it going to take for me to be able to test some different messages, maybe some different offers, some different ways of being able to position my product or service, and then listening to the audience in their feedback. And that's not just in terms of, I know that we live in a world where people want to say, you know, how many clicks, how many, whatever. It, it's not a function of quantity. It's a function of quality. So if you're getting a lot of response, but those people aren't converting, are you getting a lot of exposure, but those things aren't turning into real business? By the time you realize that, you've spent all your money. So you really need to start slowly, conservatively, looking at where you're really getting that bang for your buck, and then from there, building a campaign that's built on tangible return on investment and not just on a lot of exposure. 
And that is why you are a subject matter expert. Buck, we are out of time. I'd love to have you come back and talk further. I think we should start the hashtag. uh, Marketing is not all about the likes. I like it. (laughs) It's been a pleasure. I look forward (laughs) to coming back again soon. We look forward to having you back, Buck. And for the rest of you, if you want to make the connect to Buck, we can help you do that. Find us at dailyadbrief.com. I'm Mary Therese in Atlanta. We'll see you next time for more Media Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.